This message is about birthdays. You know, celebrating your birthday is a tradition that becomes a part of the life of so many people, and they never stop to question where traditions like this come from, what they really mean, you know, what they mean to what matters. And what matters is our spiritual life. Yes, many people aren't even alive today. They're dead. Even though they have open eyes and ears, they're not seeing or hearing because they don't have honest hearts that are seeking out the one true and living Elohim of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the Creator of all heaven and earth. If you want life and don't want to be separated from truth, then you have to be willing to seek out and do research and understand that the Creator gave a law and righteous statutes and judgments of a way to live and that if we don't repent of our sin and learn the sin from His law and His righteous ways and statutes and judgments, then we are going to suffer the consequence of that in our pride and our arrogance for living the way we wanted to, caught up in pagan idol worship and traditions that just lead to death and destruction. The birthday is an example of this. We can see through Scripture, and if you do your research, you can look at historical writings to trace back the origins of these traditions. Right now, we know that in Scripture, there is never anything good written about birthdays. first time you see it is in Genesis, when the pagan king, Pharaoh, celebrated his own birth and executed his chief baker. Then you see in the Renewed Covenant Scripture, in Matthew, how Herod, the, another pagan ruler, had this horrible dance from Herodias' daughter, and then what happens? He executes John the Baptist, the prophet of Elohim, to reward her for her satanic dance. So, we see the evil here, just in Scripture. Now, many Christians right now, who don't realize the, the pagan origins of their religions, will sit here and say, hey, Think about Christmas and December 25th and celebrating the birth of um, who they call Jesus. But the real Messiah, Yeshua, was never born on December 25th. December 25th is a day of worship for the sun god. It's the birthday for the sun god. And you can trace the history back through Constantine and how he established all of this. Okay, And Yeshua, in Scripture, he was never commanded to celebrate his birthday. That's not, that's not the Elohim of Abraham's wish or desire, or law. The wise men who came to celebrate the life of the Messiah coming into this world, the only begotten Son of Elohim who came from above, they gave Him gifts of honor and reverence in His life, not on the day of His birth. Now, for many people, we know that recognizing the age of our life is important. That's even in Scripture. But not the month and the day. These go back to ancient Egypt with people who tried to calculate horoscopes and astrology, calculating the omens. And in Deuteronomy chapter 10, it gives specific instructions of how that is evil. And you shouldn't tell signs of the fortune in the future based on these kind of signs. It's evil. It's against the law. So, now that we see just these examples, we know that from the pagan kings in Scripture, the, the birthday is a form of self-idol worship, honoring self and removing you from the purpose of your life. The purpose of life being to give honor and glory to the one true Elohim of Abraham. To live according to His statutes, to abide in His only begotten Son, Yeshua, so that you can bear much fruit and glorify His Father which is in heaven. Now, looking at historically documented reference for how pagan birthday celebrations are, this self-idol worship day, is looking at the pagan rituals for all these false gods that were celebrated. For example, the moon goddess was used to be given a cake with candles on it. And the ancients believed these candles, the flame would carry up the wishes or the prayers of the, the pagan worshippers to their god. Now today, what is this? It's given at birthdays, a cake with candles and the wishes blown out. 
You know, this all goes back to also other kinds of self-idol worship, hoping that you get some kind of false deity, some fairy goddess or whatever other horrible pagan demonic spirit associated to these kind of beliefs into your life to give you favor. And which also shows the birthday presence. This is traced back to worshiping pagan gods' birthdays and giving them presents to find favor with them. And we know that in Scripture, the only time gift-giving to one another, man to man, is found in Revelation when, they, when all the wicked people of the earth celebrate the death of the two witnesses, the two prophets of Elohim, that bring back the truth and the call of repentance, and everybody hated them for them and their wickedness. So they celebrate their death. We are not to honor one another. We are not to honor ourselves. We are to give glory and honor with our lives of obedience and faith to the Elohim of Abraham. To give Him fear and love Him with all of our heart, soul, and mind. And we honor Him. Now, if you do your research, you'll also find that even the Satanic Bible writes about the birthday as one of its great days. They call it the holy day for self-worship. I mean, they want to make us, you know, people, into believing that they're their own God to remove them from truth. Don't you see how wicked all of this is? How Satan is placing his hand everywhere, but people are asleep to it and they love the idea of a birthday? They love the idea of self-idol worship, a day to make themselves important, a day to honor themselves. Don't even regard the day and the month. Count by the years of life that you've been given by Elohim so that you can live out His law, His will, His statutes, and His commandments and the teachings of Yeshua following Him every day of your life, denying yourself. Loving Elohim with all your heart, soul, and mind, and your neighbor as yourself. Guarding and keeping His commandments. Being set apart as you follow Yeshua's teachings. These are who will be saved in the end days. Not you who want to hold on to your sins and your filthiness and have all these pagan traditions and idol worships. So repent of the birthday. Regard not the day of your birth. Repent of horoscopes and all of this other sorcery. And give glory, honor, and praise to the one whom you should fear and trust and love. Hallelujah for his laws and statutes. Amen.